I am Andrea Ocampo here in beautiful Boca Raton for Lindsay's Concussion Awareness Prevention Challenge as we bring athletes and families together for a wonderful cause. Hi Holly, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us what are we doing here today and I see that you have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it was our pleasure to open our doors for, uh, for CapSafe and it's amazing. Concussion awareness prevention. We have three kids. All of our kids are you know, very heavily involved in sports and the Bermans wonderfully brought this to our attention and we're just so happy to support it. So here with CAP is concussion awareness and prevention and really working towards just educating um, what a concussion truly is, the side effects, and really how to follow proper protocol to make sure that there's none of those lifelong debilitating effects. A lot of parents and a lot of people don't know um, the importance of not <laughs> letting your kid go out there and, and play the football like that and get get those concussions. So I think it's important, like for me, my kids, they play flag football because I don't want them to be tackled. Their brains are just, uh, they're just not fully developed yet at that, those young ages. So it's it's really important to get the awareness out there. Yeah, I, you know, always anything that uh, Birmingham and Birmingham Law do for for uh, the community. Anytime they have an event, I love to come support. I went to the Halloween event. It was an awesome time. Now I'm back. That's probably the last time I really went out with the wife. I had a lot of fun. So, you know, every time they invite me to do something, it's always a great cause, especially something like this with concussions. Uh, I had a concussion myself. I'm sure a few guys already, you know, have had that in their careers, but it's good to support a great cause. It's going to help people in the future. We started this fund and uh, we realized that in the high schools in Indiana where we started, that there wasn't any uh, criteria uh, for examining children uh, high school and uh, through elementary school. And so we uh, found the IMPACT study, which is a computer designed uh, technology that's used uh, the most in the world. Oh, tonight we're in this gorgeous, uh, beautiful home of the Meehans and we're gonna have a wonderful seven course dinner outside and music, an amazing magician. He actually read my mind. I couldn't believe it. I, he literally read my mind. It was amazing. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of wonderful people coming out to support the cause. I think it's the shoes. I, get a good I think it's a yogi trick, Ricky. <laughs> It must be. Yeah. <laughs> this issue has definitely been a lot more rampant in the media. Why do you think that is? Well, people are paying more attention to it. I mean, the NFL was, was one that had to come out here. A lot of the big lawsuit that everybody's kind of going through. And I think that kind of sparked blood everything else and made the awareness a lot stronger. All, now little kids and youth leagues are now getting uh, concussion tests in high school and on up and just want to be able to prevent it more than anything else. So now that they're shedding the light on this, hopefully we can you know, try to, try to lessen it or try to get rid of it all in one. And there's so many things that you can do to keep these kids safe and not only from a coaching side but from a parent side to notifying the par other parents of the signs of what is a concussion. No one really knows. The kids think that they're dizzy and they're not sure so for us it was a lot of knowledge in itself. Now we have spread our uh, technology uh, which is uh, uh, con uh, concussion goggles which we use with the younger athletes and young children from kindergarten through eighth grade, uh, K through five in their PE classes, and six through eight in their health classes. What do you say to mothers that are actually very worried about their kids playing sports and the risks that they run? Well, and that's just it. CAP is all about spreading the awareness. Um, we all want to keep our kids safe. We all want them to enjoy the sports because there's really so many benefits to playing sports. Um, but you have to be careful at the same time. Uh, we, everybody wants that win. They want that, the playoff win, the Super Bowl win, all those great things. Um, but you have to understand what's at risk. And I think the more that you can become educated on concussions and really realizing that it's best to sit them out, really let their brain heal because that's what a concussion is. It's an injury to the brain and it does need time to heal as well. For me, I have two young boys and also a husband who played in the NFL who had many, many concussions. So for me, it's really important to get the awareness out there and the word out there, the importance of, you know, if you, if you go into a game and you get hit, you know, don't go back out there because there are long lasting, um, uh, you know, bad things that, that could happen, you know, in the future. On a personal level, I, I played football for pretty much my, my whole life. 
and uh, had some concussions and had to deal with a lot of these things. And I think if we can raise the awareness and then give people information, I think we can help stop a lot of this from happening in the future. What is the overall misconception considering that now the NFL and really big organizations, they're bringing awareness to this issue? Well, that's just it. Before, it was all about my son is tough, play through it, um, you know, make it work. You know, score that team, don't let your team down. And now it, it is that. It's thankfully, um, so much is getting out there to where it's really important um, to focus on the kids and their health. I mean, it's very important. I mean, it, it, it takes everyone coming together and just everyone's just just making noise about it. So, I mean, like everyone's dealing with it. If you don't have someone in your family, you, you at least have um, a friend or someone who's dealing with someone that has these issues. So it's a good thing that we need to just get fixed. Well, you know, when I look at the, the subject, I think everyone is really thinking about how what we can do to prevent it, you know, teaching uh, proper tackling, we can we can improve the equipment. But for me, what, what interests me is, are we going to find ways to actually treat it once it does occur? Because people are going to play football probably for, you know, forever. And so how can we find ways to protect them and to treat them when they do suffer a uh, brain injury? Lindsay's Cap Challenge prestigious event brought the who's who of the athletic community, but most importantly, it brought a community that wants to make a difference. I'm Andrea Ocampo for I on South Florida.